Tesla battery day event. What everyone is not talking about. What up YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine back for another video. I thought I would talk about Tesla battery day event. Now everyone is talking about Tesla and their new battery technology, especially with them partnering with Maxwell Technologies. Yes, everyone's talking about that. Yes, this is something that we hear. We, we hear a lot of things. We hear that possibly they could release a battery that costs less than $100 per kilowatt hour. You know, some people saying that maybe we can see a battery that's even better than 100 kilowatt um, per hour, which would be even better because that that's really putting a, just a punch to the legacy automakers and making electric cars you know freaking cheaper to operate and cheaper to buy versus a traditional you know gasoline car so we hear about you know um we hear about that rumor we also hear about the rumor of a million mile battery this is one that we, we definitely hear quite a bit then we also hear about um you know this new battery technology where you know they can you know um, they don't have to drive the, the battery at the at this end process and since they don't have to drive the battery at the end you know they don't need all this space in the factory and since they don't need to draw the battery like they can make the batteries even faster and since they don't also since they don't have to draw the batteries they can produce the batteries cheaper um so we kind of hear a lot you know a lot of things about batteries and you know i'm pretty sure they're gonna release some pretty awesome battery tech um you know it, that's what everybody's expecting that's one reason why i think tesla stock has ran up so much in the past six months because people have just been you know gearing up for this battery day and you know everyone's saying oh yeah tesla's gonna make just an amazing battery and yeah i know we're, we're waiting on that um I, I believe we're gonna see some pretty cool battery technology no doubt but i don't think that's gonna be the only thing that they're gonna release um i don't think that that's gonna be the only information that they're gonna have they're gonna have a lot more information and we can sit down and you know make a whole video you know, talking about this and talking about that. Maybe Tesla can release this. Maybe Tesla can release that. You know, you know, maybe Tesla will announce a new Gigafactory in India. Maybe Tesla will announce a new factory in the U.S. Maybe Tesla will announce blah 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 blah. We can just keep going on and on and on and on and on. But one thing that we must think about with big companies, okay? Whenever big companies do things, it's usually planned. So Tesla, they knew that they were gonna split their stock price. Now think about this, Tesla split their stock price right before battery day. So that just makes me wonder, okay, yeah, there's gonna be some pretty awesome news coming from battery day because they're, they're giving the investors the opportunity to buy into the stock even cheaper. Now, to make a long story short, what I think Tesla is gonna announce at battery day, or maybe not on battery day, maybe maybe after battery day maybe battery day will be so full of surprises that i'm not talking about in this video that you know maybe they won't release this but this is what i think that tesla is working on pretty soon now tesla needs to hit level five autonomy so that that this way cars can just drive by themselves without a human driver. They can just be programmed and drive and go pick someone up from the airport and drop them off, you know? This will be pretty awesome. But I see one problem is they have a lot of cars out there on the road. And these cars are feeding back data into Tesla's system so they can map out this, you know, driverless car network all over, like all over the country, all over the world and stuff like that. Now, if you take your, your, your average driver Tesla driver, just or your average ICE car driver, your average driver in general, your average driver in general drives anywhere from one to two hours per day on average. That's not a lot of driving. That's not a lot of driving. But you know who does a lot of driving? Uber and Lyft drivers does. They do a lot of driving. And tes Tesla wants to come out with a robo taxi service eventually, which will basically compete with Uber and Lyft, okay? Now, a lot of investors and a lot of people on YouTube have been speculating that Tesla could come out with a service to straight up compete with Uber and Lyft. And if Tesla came out with a service to compete with Uber and Lyft, think about the competition that Uber and Lyft would be up against, okay? Think about someone who, they've, they've heard of Tesla, but they don't know anyone with a Tesla. You know, they, you know, they, they definitely hear about the stock price on the news, 
but they don't know anyone who drives a Tesla. Now, if Tesla rolls out with their own car sharing service to straight up compete with Uber and Lyft, they're gonna have a lot of people requesting Teslas just because they've never written in a Tesla. Okay, you're gonna have a lot of people requesting Teslas because, okay, Whenever you request Uber and Lyft, you never know what kind of car you're gonna get. You know, you might get some, you know, old Prius. You know, you might get some brand new Chevy Bolt. You know, you, you know, you might get some old car that was a taxi, but they spray painted and made it black, and now it's just an Uber and Lyft car. Well, Tesla, on the other hand, you already know that you're gonna get a Tesla. Just imagine, I'm jumping in an Uber. I'm jumping in a Lyft. Yo, I'm jumping in a Tesla. Yo. Are you, you guys gonna request a Tesla? Yeah, come on, we gotta request a Tesla and get downtown. Yeah, we're gonna request a Tesla. Instead of request a Uber, instead of request a Lyft, we're gonna request a Tesla. Like, this is something that Tesla could do, and this is something that a lot of people believe that Tesla could roll out with this year in 2020, and this will only help train the autonomous network because if they have a lot of Uber drivers, you know, converting over, you know, going from the, the Uber and Lyft program to driving for the Tesla program, Tesla's gonna have more drivers adding to the autonomous network of more drivers on the road driving 10 hours a day, driving, the, driving these Teslas 10 hours a day versus your average you know, Tesla owner who's driving less than two hours a day. That's only two hours going into the, you know, the system, going into the cloud, you know, of mapping out the streets. When you have tons and tons of drivers just driving around, driving around, mapping out the streets, mapping out the streets, mapping out the streets, that network is going to grow faster and faster and faster and faster. Now, it's also um, been talked about and been speculated all over, you know, social media and stuff that this program could start off at around like $7,000 where like, you know, if you want to become a Tesla driver, <laughs> this kind of sounds funny, but if you want to become a Tesla driver, like an Uber driver or a Lyft driver, you know, you would pay something like $7,000 and you would basically put down on the Tesla and over time you could drive and work off the payments on the car. And this would straight up compete with Uber and Lyft because right now Uber just signed this deal with, with Chevrolet and the Bolt because Uber wants to, you know, have all of their cars electric by 2030. 2030. It's 2020 now. 10 more years they want to have all their cars electric. Like, I sure hope it's not going to take 10 more years to get, you know, more electric cars on the road because that, that, that's going to be a long time. And right now, if you're an Uber driver, you can get a Chevy Bolt for like twenty six, twenty seven thousand dollars. Like after all incentives and you know, now that's not including finance fees. After finance fees, who knows? It could possibly be a whole lot higher than that. But it, you know, just straight out the door, if you're paying for it in cash, it'll be like twenty seven thousand dollars, and that's actually a really good deal compared to a Tesla. Okay, compared to a freaking Tesla that. Right now, a lot of the Model 3s you see driving around on the road, these are the $50,000 Model 3s. You know, the, these aren't the $35,000 Model 3s out there. And right now, if you're an Uber driver, you can get a Chevy Bolt, $26,000 out the $27,000 out the door if you get cash, you know? Now, obviously, I know that most Uber drivers won't have cash, but I'm just, just, just giving you the, the ballpark numbers straight out the door if you want to get a Tesla straight out the door. It's gonna cost a whole lot more than $26,000. So, um, I could see that, um, you know, possibly we could see something like this. Um, this would definitely help Tesla um, with their autonomy program. This would pretty much be a driver driving, feeding to the network and moving people around. And just moving people around would be mad advertisement for Tesla. This would be mad advertisement for Tesla because now more and more people can just take a Tesla. They can take a Tesla. They're like, yo, I've never written in a Tesla. Oh, you've never written in a Tesla? Really? I tell you what, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to request us a Tesla. We're, we're going to go for a ride real fast. Oh, man, I like that Tesla. That's a really amazing car. No, other ways Tesla can definitely compete with drivers versus Uber and Lyft. 
Uber and Lyft are platforms. They're basically like tech companies, right? Tesla is a tech company, but also Tesla builds cars. So Tesla could do things like offer drivers really awesome bonuses and incentives. They can offer drivers really good deals on cars. Um, I don't necessarily know if it's going to be like a $7,000 down and you pay off the car over time. I don't know if, it, it, if it's going to work exactly that way. Um, that, that's definitely something that someone was speculating. And also, let's not forget about Tesla insurance. This is something else that Tesla could give drivers a really, really big discount on. is Tesla insurance because Tesla will see how the drivers are driving and Tesla could, you know, give you insurance based on, oh, wow, you're a really, really safe driver. You typically drive, you know, the evenings, the nights. You know, you typically don't drive in the city. You typically drive in, you know, the East Bay. You know, you typically drive on streets that are much safer, so your insurance will be less. But this driver over here, who likes to drive 80 miles an hour on the freeway every, you know, every other day, or every day, and you know, you also have this other driver over here, he drives more in the city and there's more accidents, and. You know, maybe, maybe this driver is going to pay a little bit more, but Tesla could still offer discounts and Tesla could still undercut the other auto, auto manufacturers and also the other insurance companies because Tesla is not only a tech company, but they also build cars and they sell insurance too. They could really give Uber and Lyft a run for their money. And Uber and Lyft, they're just not doing great right now. They're just not doing great. Like with the whole pandemic and less people in cities and less people moving around and you know with social distancing in place events are canceled people have less places to go if tesla started this service now tesla would basically be starting kind of at the bottom you know they, they would kind of be kinda starting at the bottom because it, you know they would just be getting business and they would only go up from here as you know the lockdowns were lifted and you know, we tend to go back to normal life. It would only get better and better and better and more people would use the service. And Uber and Lyft, I would imagine, would, would, would just not come up out of this whole scenario. Question, what is Lyft doing? Like, at least I see Uber testing, you know, driverless cars and Uber's talking about taxis and Uber's talking about, you know, Uber Freight, you know, which, taxi, which Tesla is definitely competing with them. On. And I also Uber, see, you know, Uber talking about Uber Eats, but but what is Lyft talking about? Like Lyft is not even in foreign countries, are they? Aren't they just still only in America? Like what? what are, how are they still alive? Like how how is Lyft like not even already dead? Or I don't know. Maybe I should do more research about Lyft. But it, I, I, mean, I can tell you whole, so many things about Uber, but I just don't know very much about Lyft. Lyft is very very small. But anyway, this video is about Tesla. Yeah, so this is what I think Tesla is going to, um, this is one, one of the things that I believe Tesla is going to announce and people aren't just talking about it because it's kind of one of those like things that, you know, maybe it's not so, maybe it's not hyped up like battery technology because battery technology is pretty freaking awesome. Like it is, but I think the robo taxi network will be amazing and that would also kind of make sense of why tesla raised five billion more dollars i think now they have about 14 billion dollars in cash and when companies raise cash like that they, they they usually have a plan they usually have something that they're gonna do maybe tesla is gonna start some sort of program in the u.s and i don't know 14 billion dollars that, that's quite a bit a lot that's a lot of money they could build quite a bit of gigafactories with 14 billion dollars they can do quite a lot with 14 billion dollars but we'll have to wait and see what what tesla has up their sleeve battery day is the 22nd that's about what eight days nine days from today of the making of this video anyway guys i think i'm gonna wrap this video up i wanted to give my two cents about battery day i think that i mean of course battery day is going to be an amazing day but I, I, I think that there's going to be some pretty amazing things coming out on battery day I'm actually thinking about buying an electric car and I've been looking around but I think I want to wait till like definitely after battery day. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out, y'all.